Next, put it on his tag. He said he got it, right? Everything. Everything. He said he got it. Love. Responsible for everything you listen to. Our mediocre talent proceed to try and condition you to go over my Embarrassing! <laughs> There's no doubt that Drake is one of the biggest recording artists of all time. But how does the artist of his size and stature go about translating the ideas in their head? To what comes out of the speakers. Well, in today's video, I'll be going over the recording, tips, tricks, and techniques used by Drake and his producer, Noah Forty Shabib, to craft absolute smash hit records. We'll be going over Forty's private studio, the OVO team's touring setup, Drake's home studio, and if you stay around till the end, Drake's bedroom studio. At the heart of Drake's sound is producer Noah Forty. And whether he's producing, mixing, or mastering, he's locked up in his state of the art studios in Toronto. This is the team's premier facility and is where most of the action takes place. Taking a look at the main control room, you'll see 40 turned over to the right at his production setup. Here he does the programming and the producing for the records. Ironically, if you see him in his old home studio, you'll notice that he's in the exact same position. And yes, when he produces using MIDI, he uses Pro Tools. And speaking of Pro Tools, the program is highly integrated into his workflow. Just to the right of his main production station is the Avid S5 console. This console is essentially a remote control or a giant mouse for Pro Tools. While the console has no actual sound itself, just being able to interact with the mix in a different way besides a mouse significantly speeds up 40's workflow. Also a few other features which you find super useful. Move things around the bus system anywhere you want and label everything so I can set up all my control room sources as, as mix A and mix B and 16 bit and dithered and straight out the box and with compression and without compression have them all on the touch of a button to, to flip and swap and AB mixes. The S5 also allows 40 to host his outboard mixing gear. All the gear behind me over here, you can insert all this stuff in Pro Tools, right? Just like it's all labeled up in the IO Pro Tools. It's all there. It's all hardwired. So on the Maddie side, it's done. It's patched forever. And mm -hmm. it just shows up in Pro Tools and you insert the pull text and the tube text and whatever you want. The use of the S5 doesn't just stop in the studio. For Drake's most recent It's All a Blur tour, No40 has assembled a custom S5 mixing rig he can take into hotel rooms and other areas while on tour. This ensures he has a consistent workflow no matter where he is. And if you bet the mixing station goes with him, so does his production station. For me to go on tour with Drake, I needed basically a mobile production, mixing, uh, recording rig and it is a full-blown studio what is in this case is exactly the same as what i make all my music with and what i mix all my records with and what we record with while 40 has a great production and mixing setup that setup would not be complete without having a great pair of speakers 40 speakers of choice are called soda speakers they are a relatively unknown high-end speaker manufacturer in canada and from what I could gather, no longer exists. However, 40 is a cult follower of them, so much so he even has some ultra rare Soda near field speakers. But besides Soda, Noah 40 changes his speakers up a lot. He'll occasionally use the Focals, which used to be a staple with Drake. But he also has the classic NS10s and the Aura Tone. Now, behind the monitors, you'll see the control room where Drake does some recording. Now, in the booth, there's three main mics that Drake will use. Of course, the main one is the famous Sony C800G. But besides that, there's a custom OVO mic and a Mojave MA300. And when Drake's out of the booth and wants to record some scratch vocals, he has a Neumann U67 in the control room. And the rest of his vocal chain is the 1073 into the LA2A. Now when inspiration strikes and Drake's not in the studio, he has a magnificent home studio that he'll record at. The person behind capturing Drake is Noel Cadastre, who is his new full-time engineer. Drake's home studio setup is quite similar to that of state-of-the-art studios. Just like 40's studio, at the center of this studio is an Avid S6 control surface. This console is just a newer version of the S5, and he even uses it in the same way that 40 does. Now as for speakers in Drake's home studio, he also has a pair of Soda speakers. However, these are custom built and custom designed by Noah for Drake. <laughs> <laughs> these are mock-ups. You gotta do a mock-up because these things are so heavy. You gotta figure out where and how you're gonna hang them first, otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. There's the mirrors. And then you gotta put mirror on the mock so you can see. Exactly where the listening position is. 
because that would be the tweeter in that in these speakers the tweeters right there so that's sort of the center of the listening position and the mathematical center of the speaker <sighs> studio is almost done but when these guys are hanging <laughs> now when drake is tracking he has a plethora of options of where he can track in the studio similar to the setup at soda studios he has a U67 in the control room that you can track for scratch vocals. And when he wants to step in the booth, he can and record using the mic of his choice. Let me know in the comments if you would record in this control room. And once the recording and mixing process are complete by 40, it's sent off to the secret weapon of the OVO team, Gadget. Gadget's job is to basically provide an alternative mix to where Noah 40 left off. And he's been part of many of Drake's biggest records and productions. He's different. He's unorthodox. He's not your average cat. So, I mean, like, yeah, he mixes in, in Nuendo. To his credit, Nuendo and the power and the processing, what he was able to do on that platform over the last decade was extremely impressive. And so he was just working in a way that nobody else was working in. He understood things a little differently. He was breaking rules. I didn't see anybody else break. And he came from a different school, right? He came from like a Jamaican bass loud sound system school. Before I get on with the video, I gotta shout out my brand new acoustics course. There's a good reason why producers like Noah 40 always travel with a consistent setup and only pick the finest of studios to work at. Because they need a room they can trust, that way their mixes will properly translate to the real world. Fortunately, most of y'all's setups are pretty bad and can easily be adjusted with just a few simple fixes. So to help us, I teamed up with mastering engineer and acoustics expert Gerhard Westphalen to bring you the acoustics course. This is a full guide on how to design, build, and treat your home studio like a pro. We also go over how to measure your studio for any problems, and how to design some super cost-effective and cheap acoustic treatment. For a limited time, I'm going to be giving away a studio design checklist and some absorber build plans. So hit the link in the description below if you want to get those free items. Anyways, back to the video. Now when Drake is too lazy to move around his house, he also has the option of recording in bed. And his mobile mic of choice is the MyLab VIP50. And with his mobile recording setup comes a mobile engineering setup brought directly to his room. That way he doesn't have to move a muscle. The embed engineering service also comes with a full mix playback station using the same Focal monitors that Noah 40 will sometimes use. I hope you all enjoyed that video taking a look at Drake's recording secrets. If you did like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Anyways, I'll see y'all later.